This tutorial is going to cover a lot of detail on the video editing platform. This is in addition to the basic tutorial that you probably already watched. I'm going to make sure that I touch on as many points as possible to give you a good idea on all the stuff that the system can do. First, when you log into the system or launch the system, you would see that you have the basic um, how to use the online video editor video. You definitely want to watch that. Um, here, I'm going to start from the top here. First of all, you see how it works. How it works just pretty much tells um, you how the system works generally. You view the introduction, which is pretty much um, all this information here. Uh, you sign up and then you sign in. You edit the template and then you download the video um, after you publish and edit edit and publish your template. You can also click, um, view, click at the view introduction to view uh, the basic um, how to use online video editor tutorial. You have to watch that first before you watch this one um, to give you uh, so you understand exactly what's going on. Um, you can also watch it here, but this just to make it bigger for you. Um, feel free to review the other information on that um, How It Works page. The free trial is basically for those who want to try the system first before they um, actually get a membership. Um, this is the first system online that allows um, users to actually play around with uh, uh, a template, a video template, check it out, try it, demo it, change the text before they actually <clears throat> buy just with a free trial account. So that way they, exact, they know exactly um, that the template works for them and that is exactly what they need before they buy. There's no other system on online right now that actually does that um, for users. So it's pretty much like a try before you buy type of deal. Um, all they need to do is go ahead and um, sign up for a free account and um, they can just go ahead and um, start using the system. It's really that simple. The difference between this free account and the paid membership is that um, the free account guys won't see this publish button or this upload button. So they can't publish the, f the video that they've edited. If they edit a template, they can't publish it to download as an MP4 file. And they can't upload their own videos and images and stuff like that. But they can pretty much do everything else a regular member can do. They can save videos and um, edit them as many as they want, um, preview them, and um, um, just make sure it's right for them before they then um, get a membership. Also, the next step is the video templates. I'll come back to that in a second here. The sign up button here just pretty much allows people to actually sign up for a regular account. We have the unlimited um, videos annually, which is uh, the annual pay, it goes every year, the monthly, the one single video. Who want to get just one video license? They don't want to have a membership to pay monthly or yearly, just want one video and they can go and grab this um, single video license. Special template is like if um, someone wants us to develop a special template for them. In this case, we'll you know have the templates built and set up and um, uh, available for them to edit online uh, within the editor. Um, note, note um, the, the monthly and the annually are prorated, so it's always the first of the month that um, is prorated to begin billing on the first of the month. So if you, regardless of when you order, it will automatically prorated to um, the first of the month. The ordering is very simple. Just kind of go through the click order and go through the order process, fill out your information, click um, complete the order, pay, and boom, they can start using the system. Um, sign in is um, pretty much after the order, make sure that you're, you're signed into the system. You can't do anything in this, video platform unless you're signed in. So make sure you're always signed in first. This is how your signed in screen should kind of look like. Um, and by the way, all the, sh all the things I'll be covering in this video, some things may have changed after this video is recorded, but for the most part, the whole concept remains the same. So you can just kind of um, improvise. Um, next is my account. My account is basically where you can just go ahead and um, do some basic account stuff like for example you can uh, check your bill invoices, invoices and print them out for your for your own records, uh, PDF invoices. You can um, um, edit your account details like your name and information, email, make sure your email is up to date and all your information like your phone number is in place so we can contact you if, we, if um, need be. You can have to do things like change your password here add sub accounts um, for example sub accounts is like you need to add somebody else um, to use the account like a virtual assistant a staff or someone else who needs to access the system just fill out the information and um, 
um, take the sub account and they can then log in with their own email address and, and password that way they can also use the system it's pretty cool if you um, need somebody else to to manage your the system you can also update your credit card information here um, and that way um, the system will automatically bill um, on the first or whenever the, the invoices do automatically you can do stuff like open support tickets and um, view the services that you have also and stuff like that but yeah you can just play around with it it's a few things you can do here next you have the support here you can get all the support you need from the um from the system uh, knowledge base um we put all the videos that we create on uh, the, the tutorials that we have in the knowledge base so always go ahead and check the knowledge base just click on check knowledge base and click on check knowledge base and then go into the video jack um um, section that's where we have the video jack and then you can um, view the video the tutorials that we have for video jack if you're an affiliate or a marketer and um, you can actually go uh, good knowledge you can click on the affiliate section we have a lot more videos for you there uh, for those of you who are um, resellers or partners you can always view our videos here uh, on the affiliate section by the way, sometimes if these pages don't show up, um, if you're using Internet Explorer, it may be because you have um, not enabled um, non-secure content from showing up. So make sure your um, Internet Explorer is um, showing secure content. Or you can use a different browser like um, Chrome or Firefox. Next, we have resources. Um, here, we've compiled a few resources that you may um, that's uh, very useful for you to fully use the system. Here we have the template uses, kind of list some templates, some uses of the templates. That's things ways you can use the templates to um, to promote your business, the market, make money, different ways. These are just a, a fraction of it. There are so many ways you can use the template. The you just kind of have to use your imagination and creativity. Um, but you can view them here. Uh, here we have the template benefits. These are some benefits of using um, video templates. Um, this is just like I said, it's just a fraction. You can um, view a whole lot more. Um, here we have um, information on selling templates. Um, here you want to kind of read on the steps that you need to do to follow to to sell um, templates. Um, I'll go back to this a little bit more when I'm covering the actual selling of templates. And here we have the change log and updates. Here we'll put all the updates to the system so you can kind of know what's going on in the system and um, be up to date on the, the upcoming features and the changes in the system because you may not know when new templates are added and um, you know features are added you definitely want to come here um, to the change log to check out see what uh, what's new in the system so that's pretty much it for the menus uh, and here let me then come back to the templates the templates are generally divided into um, categories we have the professional templates visual and and so on and so forth. Professional templates are basically the templates that can be used for pretty much any service, you know, from lawyers, doctors, whatever um, service that you have or business. The professional templates can very well um, accommodate pretty much any business. You just have to be a little creative and change the text a little bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and um, pretty much edit and cover each pretty much each category here. Uh, I'm just going to pick, uh, say for example, in this case, I'm going to pick um, one template. Let me pick this one, any service. To open a template, just click on it and to actually open the template um, in edit mode. If the template doesn't open, uh, for some reason you get a um, login box, that means you're not logging, just go ahead and log in. Okay. I'm going to play this particular template um, here. I just finished playing it. It's pretty much um, a template about a, you know, um, a very generic template about someone flipping through phone books and looking for service. So all we have to do is just simply, I'm just going to go ahead and um, click on um, the, the text area here. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the text. In this case, I'm going to do a, an ad for uh, a video ad for a locksmith, you know, like, uh, a locksmith service so it can be pretty much for anything so in this case um, the text has already been provided for us I can uh, actually rewrite the whole text but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna stick with um, what we have here for those of you who are creative you know you can um, go for it uh, let's go ahead and I'm uh, looking for um, looking for quality service I can say looking for quality locksmith let me go ahead quality locksmith service right there and then I, I keep scrolling and drag my um, 
my scrubber, I scroll to here, I scroll down, and I get here, click on that. Um, say tired of flipping through your that have the phone book, hope to find quality locksmiths. See, I'm using <clears throat> basically just using what's already there to make a new commercial instead of trying to rewrite the whole thing. And I'm um, scrolling through, see, she's flipping through the phone books, get to the next text part. Uh, I'll put that phone book down and call your business name here. I'll put that phone book down and call let's. <clears throat> I replace your business name here with, uh, let's say the name of my business is um, Pancho. Pancho Locksmith. Uh, let's go here and just move that. And call, and call Pancho Locksmith. Um, yeah. So I, then I keep going, scrolling, I keep on scrolling. Let's change that. Uh, we we'll provide the best locksmith service. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go run through and change the rest real quick. Yeah, change the last bit here. Um, contact uh, Pancho Locksmiths, and um, and that's pretty much it. Just make sure that it looks nice on the screen, and um, then go ahead and. Um, save it to save it. Uh, you first want to click anyway outside, like in the dark, in the dark area here. Anyway outside the in the timeline, you're going to click there. That gives you the 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 label for the whole um, for the project or for the for this particular template. And then I'm going to call it. Um, I'm just going to call it Pancho Locksmith. Pancho Locksmith. There, I have saved it, um, Pancho Locksmith ad. So if this was my, for my personal use or for a client, it's, uh, and then I just go ahead and hit save. There, that's saved. So if I click download, I'll be able to see this particular ad here. If I scroll down a little bit, you see I've kind of created quite a few here. And you see, um, it should be here somewhere, somewhere at the bottom. Click downloads. And let's go ahead and check it out should be here here we go Pancho locksmith ad and now I can always you know click on edit to edit it later on but moving on that's pretty much how to edit this kind of template I'm gonna edit another template just kind of give you an idea of how um, how it works on um, using a different template let's pick a different template here let's go still go down to the same um, professional templates let's pick something a little bit more let's try satisfied customers let's try that one Right now, this one has a little bit more text um, layered on top instead of just um, right within the t uh, right on top of the, the video, which kind of makes it a uh, um, a little bit more easier. Uh, it's just a matter of um, choice. Um, before I start editing this one, let's just go ahead and give a run a run through of the whole, the, the system. Probably should have done that earlier. Obviously, you have here you have your um, the, the preview window. You have this button here where you can use to um, make the screen a little bigger. Um, not the screen actually the player so you can see it in, in full screen um, You if you put your mouse over it, it also tells you the the template ID as you can see in the tooltip there And obviously we have your volume here. You can lower it and reduce it uh, We have um, the timeline here. We have the effects this, this this track is for the effects this track is for video this track is for audio you can have multiple audio tracks um, as many as you want but you can only have uh, for now one video track um, uh, for now and you can have multiple um, effects track effects refer to things like text um, transitions and so on and so forth and then of course we have the download area this is where all the videos that you create or save um, I save that so you can then go back in there and either download them or edit them um, again and you can also preview them also or even delete them if you don't need them again but basically these are the templates and my videos are your videos that you've uploaded um, bear in mind that this is not a, a video storage service so you definitely want to upload only small videos um, of a certain size and you want to make sure that you constantly download the videos that you've rendered out uh, because they may be um, <coughs> they may be removed from time to time and um, here is your audio 
you can actually upload audios and you know images if you have images since like logos and stuff you can upload those in there um, video libraries we've created a library of pretty much all the um, if all video that's we're using creating most of the templates in here so that way you can rearrange them and um, put them in the timeline and create your own um, templates or your own unique uh, variations of the existing templates audio library is the same thing we have some um, audio library that you can use um, from instrumentals to um, um, songs that have been um, licensed for you to use in your um, productions uh, image library is the same thing we have some images that you can use effects basically are the effects um, that are available in the system I'm going to cover using some of the effects um, in the system here and when I'm editing the template here, I'm going to make use of some of these um, effects you can pretty much just kind of drag anyone to the timeline and you know play with it see what it does transitions are pretty much um, Tr basic transi transitions um, for most of the templates that we'll be using we we'll probably won't be using much transitions because you probably won't be needing them much next we have the all the, the buttons here we have the undo button here say so if you've done something um, say you you did something then you can just click undo to undo whatever the last thing you do you can click undo multiple times to keep on doing you know, one by one redo obviously the opposite cut is like to cut something off They're just like a regular cut you click on something and then you cut it off and it's gone let's go now and do that copy is you can copy uh, any element just uh, click on it to select it when you select it, it goes blue and then you can copy it and paste and it makes another copy of that of that particular uh, element whatever it is on a different um, track so let me just go ahead and undo that that's our copy so it's very useful um, when you're making uh, multiple texts of doing all the text from scratch you can just copy one that you've already styled um, and then you have your um, splits you, you can use split to th to things like um, when you're um, working on a, a video for example you can place your scrubber right in the middle of the video and split it go split see that is just split right there um, there we go so you can use that to split in case you want to add a transition or something in in there delete just simply deletes that particular um, that particular um, clip out of the timeline new is for like when you want to have a new um, when you want to start a fresh a new template um, it's only a, a highlighter when you actually when the existing when your existing template is being saved revert is kind of like um, do the, um, the opposite and then we have the save obviously um, to save your templates it's a good idea to save as you go on as you walk along clone would make a copy of the particular template for you under a new name so for example you if I want to clone this template I just you know click anywhere outside give it a new name and then click click clone it to make an exact copy of this particular template so it's a big big feature you can use it for things like um, making multiple copies of a particular template so you can um, market to each individual um, client for example or for different campaigns it's just it's unlimited it just opens up a whole new um, marketing system for you where you can have one video and um, have uh, multiple copies of those videos each with different information in it and it's so easy you can just um, if it could be something as small simple as different coupons promo code different phone numbers different area codes whatever or different clients um, so it's just opens up a whole new um, way of creating videos by using the clone feature the sell feature which allows you to sell your templates to others uh, I'll cover that in detail a little later here and then the publish button publish button is only available when you've actually saved um, saved your video and then you can click publish and it's renders um, does the same thing as render renders the the video um, here we have the search tool here you can search anywhere any in any element area that you are for example you know sometimes you have a lot of um, uh, videos or templates then you need to kind of search through them um, like I can go no more waiting let me go search for no more waiting let's click more you just type any word in the title that's in the, in the title of the file that you saved or the template and to pull it up here and you can click this out to get back to to view all of them again 
and to the right here is pretty much um, when you click outside to the right here is the label it's always the, the title of this template and here's if any effects that are applied to the template as a whole and if you click inside notice that when you click any elements in the um, templates it will show you the the features or the um, properties of that element that you can actually change for example if it's text you click it to show you the stuff that you can do with the text from changing the text to fading it and so on and so forth if, if you click a video it will show you things like um, trimming the video and the speed and resizing stuff like that so every element kind of has their own um, properties that you can edit all right we're going to start editing this particular template right now. <clears throat> I usually try to play a template before I kind of edit, start editing and just kind of play it to make sure I get an idea of what I'm going to change and where I'm going to change. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Assuming uh, I'm just going to stick with my original um, concept um, of editing, assuming I'm editing this for a client, for example, or for my own business. I'm I'm just going to assume I'm doing this now for an accounting firm. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, do stro scroll as usual and click um, the text here. It says looking for and I'm just going to go looking for um, professional um, and just add accounting here. Accounting service. I think, ah, I think I got the spelling. professional accounting service and so that's really how easy it is i can do some things to the text here so assuming i want to make this text a little different i can select um select it oh, actually you don't need to select it really i can just change the color maybe i want to make it a little maybe my um company or the, my client's company um colors are um <clears throat> are like um you know orange I can select that the back color refers to like um um, the back, um, the, the, the borders around the text. So for example, if I wanted to have a back color around it, I could click on that, you see? It gives it a back um, color if you want that. If you don't want a back color, you can use the back alpha to remove it. This, this determines how, how you know, visible the back alpha is. I um, might like to turn it up, but you can also turn it on if you want to, to kind of personalize it a little bit. Um, if you if you like that um, style um, next you can actually change the fonts when it comes to fonts I uh, usually prefer the, the free sans or the one whichever one comes with the original template that I'm working with um, but you can always change the, the, the font to something else sometimes due to the way flash works the f each font is a little different so you have to be careful on how the, that particular font looks um, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the regular font here. As you can see, the position has changed. Um, yeah, and here is a small. You can make it small, big. Um, this is just the text um, size here. Um, so X small makes it a little. It's a little bigger. And then the smaller the X, the, the smaller you go, the more you can fit on the on the screen at at one at one point. Note that my screen I'm using a, a wide definition, wide high definition screen monitor. So in your screen, you have to um, kind of adjust for your whatever your screen resolution is. Um, is a, a good rule of thumb is try not to get things too too much too close to the edge of the border. That way, it doesn't cut off in your in your finished video. It's kind of try to make things stick a little bit closer to the center um, just to be <clears throat> to be safe but you can always come back and you know fix it and republish it if you find out in your finished video that um, the, the, the side is cut off anyway so I'm coming back here so I'm gonna move the position I think it's too high position you can drag a position there to anywhere you want to put an element you just drag the little button here and to place the the element wherever you want it to be usually somewhere in the center is always good the position uh, feature um, property works a lot with the scale scale just makes it big or small so as you can see I'm dragging the scale is making it smaller um, smaller so you can just kind of play around with the scale usually the more you drag towards the right makes it uh, wider left makes it um, thinner so that's just how it works so i'm just gonna drag it here a little bit here i think this looks good and i drag it a little lower to the center and that's it so fade what fade does is that it 
how the text fades in. Uh, as you can see, comes the text comes right in, stays, and then fades back out. So you can actually change that how you want. You can put fade points. For example, you can make it fade in very slow. You can drag this a little bit here to the right, and you can see it to fade in so slow, very slowly. Let's go ahead and play it, for example, and you see what I mean. Let's go ahead and play this, and you notice. See how it fades in? And then fades out really quickly. Fades in very slowly and fades out very quickly. Um, so that's pretty much how the fade works. You can use it. And you can use fade points. Say you wanted to, to kind of fade in and at some point fade out and fade back in again. You can use those things like that. Um, and you to remove a, a point, you just click on it and drag it quickly to the next one or drag it um, out of the drag it out of the box just kind of click on it and drag it out of the the box here so let's see what i just did just kind of give you an idea how the fade points work so you can see here it fades out and it fades back in again so that's how um, points run this applies to pretty much all the elements um as you use the editor and then obviously you have your text here which you can change and you have effects so you can actually add additional effects effects to a text um, field for example um, but i'm just gonna um, undo this what i've just done here so i just have a normal um, fade and then um, you would want to go through this through this um, website and i'm uh, sorry through the template and change the text all through the text um, to reflect uh, accounting firm i'm gonna go ahead and do that right real quick okay i've gone ahead and changed the text here i'm just changing the contact information here click on that i typed in here notice how the 1-800 number kind of breaks up a little bit here so to fix that but in the text it looks okay so you just kind of want to play around you could there are many, a couple of ways you could fix that you can play around a little bit with the uh, um with the text you can um use your um, space bar to move it on your on your keyboard to move it to the way it's, it positions properly or you can use a position and scale to fix it you could have just used the, the scale especially the scale you move it a little bit to the right to kind of make it thinner that way so there's a lot of ways you could fix stuff like that and when anytime you see text that don't align right you can use the scale to move it left on right a little bit or you could use your um, space bar and enter to um, adjust it a little bit and now finally I'm just gonna um, okay I'll leave the website as it is um, and that's pretty much it so now I have finished editing this particular um, accounting um, video I'm just gonna play it real quick to make sure it looks good All right, looks good. By the way, notice that um, the the player will always keep replaying every time, um, unless until you pause it. So you should probably want to pause it while you make your edits. Um, that's pretty much how what the whole text thing is about. How to change text. Um, you can notice that some some parts here we have um, white background. In this particular template, the white background was used. Um, the white background was simply made by using an effect. Uh, the effect that was used is called the title effect uh, you can change that easily or change the color you can just click on it um, the that white background effect and change the color here let's go ahead and see now that's actually the the text let's go ahead and um, put that back to white the back color so in case you want it to be a different color you can do that but then if you do that you always want to make sure that the color is the same whatever color you've chosen is the same as um, as um, whatever color you use you just select it say i'm just gonna pick green here uh, pick, make that green and then i'll make this one green too that way it looks um, you don't have that um, background text there all right that's pretty much how to change the background if you want to change the background in a template such, such as this template all right let me go ahead and um, save this as um pancho accounting
By the way, when you make when you create names, it's always a good idea to also use um, a similar name to closer as close as you can to the template name. Like this one was um, professional satisfied customers. You can call it satisfied customers accounting or something like that. That way, you can kind of remember the original template which you based your template off of in case you forget down the road all right so now that i've edited the template if i want to change music for example i could always do that i can go ahead and click um, um, go to um, my audio library and pick a different track i just have to drag it in here drag into the timeline as you can see it puts it you know after the original one makes everything long and then I could just simply select the existing one, drag it out, just drag it out to remove it, and then drag this one to the, to the beginning. Uh, you can obviously preview a track, preview the, the audio tracks before you actually add it. Uh, and then, but obviously, you can see this track, this audio tra track is pretty long, and so it's much longer than the the, my template so I just need to place your cursor at the edge here at the corner here and drag it drag drag and as you get as you drag it gets smaller it gets closer on one way to also do it also a quicker way you can also trim it that's actually what you're doing when you're dragging matter of fact you're trimming so you can do it put hold your hold the, the little blue button here and just drag to the left as you can see it's trimming it it's trimming it and when you get close to the you can leave it and here you can then use this fine tuning one to drag it so it's on the same line that way the music stops when the video stops now you can play it so i'm just gonna go ahead and play this video uh, with a new track i just added this is how to change the track and this could have easily been your own audio track that's it it sounds good so if it was your own track you'd have just gone to my audio pause it you would go to my audio upload your own um, mp3 file your own mp3 you know uh, file. it could have been a voice over or it could have been your own um, licensed copyright music you can just upload it and drag it in and do the same thing um, you don't have to use music from our library and Assuming the music is too loud, because it seemed like it was a little too loud, you can do things like um, adjust the volume. So just click on the audio track, on the audio, and see here's the volume. This line represents the volume all true. So you can just drag the, the button down a little bit, and go to the other end, drag it down a little bit. This lowers the volume to a nut to, to this level. In the middle is kind of like the normal. But then if you want to, because I want to use it as a background, so I just want to drag it a little lower. So when I play it, you notice that it's a little less um, loud. Because I don't want it to be too loud. So that's how you can adjust the volume of a track. In case you have more than one audio track, sometimes you may need to have more than one. Uh, maybe a voiceover on one, and then you have the background music on one. You can lower, use this to lower the background music and um or you can mute mute it entirely you can mute the whole track entirely and click mute and it goes here as you can see it's all the way at the bottom here which means it's totally um it's not even gonna um play that's the music it's not even gonna um show up so that's one way to mute a track in case you have a video that you don't want the audio but you just want to use your own audio replace the audio you can mute the audio for that particular one all right, let me just go ahead and undo that. And also, you can do things like fade out uh, the music. Uh, for example, at the end here, yeah, when it plays off, I want it to fade out. So to fade out, just click, um, just click somewhere close to the end here, on the on the line. You see, it puts another button there, another marker, and then you just drag the last one down, the last button down. What it does is that when it gets to this part, the music just fades down. It's kind of like the fade um, we experienced earlier with the uh, with the text. The same thing, and it just drags down. So now, when you play it, let's go ahead and play it. You see that when it gets to the end here, it just kind of fades away. See, that's it. Nice and easy. 
So ordinarily, this will, this would have been the end of um, you know what you pretty much the most you need to do for any particular um, video um, template. But I'm going to use this opportunity to cover some um, some of the effects that you can apply to it. The most common ones, and we have the text effects, which uh, as you can see, all these are text effects. So assuming we want to add our own text, as you can see here, uh, we have looking for professional service. Maybe we want to change this or add something else um, somewhere. Um, somewhere else we could say um for example want to add another text here while she's um flipping the while she's flipping her uh her uh her um you know book i can just go ahead and click on uh, effects and drag the text just drag the text to the timeline and there it is here you have your text it places it um, in the middle by default. So when I click here, I can move the position. I can drag it, just drag it. Maybe I want to put it to the top left, right hand corner. I can just drag it there. And obviously by the size is a little big, it's medium by default. I want to make it small. So I'm just going to choose XX small. So there's small there. And you can see it has this white, um, the border, which is a back alpha. I can just remove that by dragging uh, removing my back off i don't need back off here and i can always give it a different color if i wanted to there and um that's pretty much how to set the text and then i just go ahead and set my text here maybe let me see this text says well drop that phone book now contact pantry accounting uh, i can just say call this uh what are you waiting for to kind of Okay, make that what are you waiting for? And then, as you can see, I just put in a, um, I just put in a question mark, but it's not showing up, which means that it's probably way too much on the left, on the right hand side. I mean, so I can just use the scale button to make sure everything shows up. So I move it a little bit to the left uh, here, scale it a little bit. Yeah, and then I can move the position because I want it to be a little bit to the left, right there. So that's how you do text. So I just add the text. Usually, as you can see, say, see here, it shows on the timeline here. It shows, it just says the word text. I usually like, to, I recommend you copy whatever you typed in the text here, put it as a label for that particular um, element. That way, uh, that way it's easy to remember or know exactly what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and select that, uh, copy that, select that, paste, and it's all real time. So because it's, it can get a little confusing when you have the word text, text, text all over the, the timeline. You don't know which one is which. So this makes it easy to, to identify which text you're working with. Um, here we go. So I've created added that text and that's really how, how easy it is to add te um, text to any template. If you want to add more text, so sometimes you need to layer multiple texts. Um, you don't you want it to show up in different um, different times. You don't want the, the text to show up at one time. You can add multiple texts. You just drag the text and place drag it on top of another one, like this. Just drag it on top, and you can keep dragging as much as you want. Just drag them on top, drag it on top, and to create another another track automatically so this is how to create multiple um, text tracks by the way this allows you to say for example you want um, when this you want to layer text and maybe you want this one to show up a little bit um, right after each let me move this it's kind of want to layer um, stack stack them up so one shows up right after the other as one is going away the other one is coming up like that so that's a way to to kind of layer text to show multiple um, text um, I just say on the same screen say maybe you want to make this one um, maybe um, bold you want to make this one different color so that's the way to add multiple tracks just drag whatever it is on top of the other one and to create a new track I'm just gonna undo all that because I don't need multiple tracks I just need um, just need the one that's how to create tracks 
and also now next thing I'll cover is images if you want to add images to the um, to this to, to the template sometimes you may need to add a, a, a logo for a client to the beginning or somewhere in the middle of the um, templates to do that is very simple we just go ahead and um, use the image effects you just drag that anywhere drag that in there in this case I'm gonna remove um, our text here maybe I don't want to use text for my logo I just want to drag move that out uh, drag in the since I drag the image I put the image there I can drag it there as you can see by default to show you the my pantry logo uh, which you would change here by um, to you whatever you want what you want it to be when you click on the logo here you see it's very similar to a text it has the length how long you want it to show and this length applies to pretty much every um, every other property in the timeline you can show how long you want the um, the that particular property to to display on the, in the video so maybe I want it to be like you know display for like you know, eight seconds you know and I could call it logo maybe just call, so I recognize it in case I have multiple um, as you can see here the I can extend the white background by just dragging the white background so I would see one because I still want the white background so all I need to do now is um, um, replace this as this my pantry logo with my logo so this is where you do it you see, it has, it has a media here so I just go to my images assuming I've uploaded my own image if not you can just click upload and look for your own um, look for your own image and upload it let's go ahead and look for my own image uh, libraries pictures you can actually upload your own logo but I already uploaded a logo here um, here I believe let me go ahead and upload one actually uh, yeah I'm uploading my file now and um, usually the best kind of file to upload are usually um, PNG files you can upload JPEGs but PNG files or um, fireworks files um, that have transparent background like uh, in transparent mode are usually the best that way um, it fits nicely with whatever background your video has all right I've just uploaded my logo here so all I need to do is just drag it here to the media section I'm still um, have my logo selected and then I can remove this one I just I can click on that and just go in and um, uh, just go in and drag that one out just drag it out the old the existing one down where you have this one my mine is left if you click on it it talks automatically brings you down to the regular um, picture properties you need to click on the actual um, elements itself and here you can actually change some different things. as you can see it appears a little um, squished on the screen um, by that's by default so I can change the blend um, here Okay, now that I'm done uploading my logo, I just uploaded this one, my Pancho logo. So I'm just gonna drag it and put it under the media area right here. Remember, I still have my logos, um, my um, logo element here selected. And um, as you can see by default, it kind of makes it a little big. I don't like the way it looks. Um, you just wanna go ahead and um, click on that. Make sure that you have um, scale set to where you want but it's kind of hard to know where to uh, how, how to scale it you can kind of drag scale it a little bit or you can click on the media itself to adjust the properties make sure you set to um, stretch to fill that's usually the best I like stretch if that way it stretches it to fill uh, whatever area is miss it's uh, missing so I click back on there and usually you want to use the scale button to drag it it may show up something like this so you just gotta have to scale a little bit left remember scaling left um, squishes it and to the right expands it so you just kind of stretch it a little bit so you get the position that you like the scale that you like I think this looks good and I'm just gonna move the position down a little bit here maybe I can make it a little smaller right there right about that maybe a little bit more perfect so yeah this is how to add a logo basically as a recap you just simply upload your logo that you have um, and then 
go to the effects area drag the image um, effect into wherever you want it wherever you want the logo to show up and then drag your images your image into the media area here and adjust the scale to it. the reason why I do it this way you could simply have easily just as easily have dragged the um, the actual image itself into the timeline to look something like this which is a quick way to do it but usually the, the way I just showed you to do it's actually the the more preferred way this way you can actually um, in case you want to have this logo show up somewhere else maybe you want to put it in the beginning also instead of redoing the whole process you just did you can just select that particular element copy it paste you can see it has a it's made another copy of it and then just go and put it right here and let's see right here let's go right so you can put it anywhere you want to you can you can drag it to make it show up a little less to, to reduce the time right here so so you can put it anywhere in this case I can even scale it now for this particular one I can scale it a little bit and actually I can just scale it a little lower position it a little bit up there so it's the the, the possibilities are endless on what you can do with uh, with logos so you can place it in multiple places wherever you want to and so on and so forth and it's easier to change the, the logo in case you want to change the logo say maybe this logo wasn't working anymore you want to change it you want to change it to a different one you could simply just go ahead and you know click on it and drag the new logo upload a new logo drag it in there remove the drag out the old one and boom you have the new um the the new ones click on it um make sure it's stretch to fill fill and boom yeah you have so you don't have to worry about redoing the whole um the whole scale thing and position thing so just pretty much take uh, and replace the, the existing one so it's a simpler way to do it and that's pretty much how all the days about logos and and you know adding logos in the to the beginning or to the end and you can actually add text to not just logo you can um pretty much combine different effects say in this case i just added a logo i can just add another text maybe drag a text on top of that and here so i can um position this separately or maybe at the bottom here make it a little smaller small text and here i can scale it a little differently yeah and um position a different so you can do multiple things as you can see this text is just on top of it so you can add maybe a phone number what whatever you want to uh, uh hold on let me add a phone number here yeah so that's how easy it is to kind of do you can do a lot with um with it and uh, finally here we have this real um this title title um effect this effect is pretty much the same way you used to do a background you could use it to do a background you could do, use it to do an um an entry for example if i wanted to have um show my name or something before the commercial place i can just drag this here place it there i'm just move this out of the way so now you can see it's a plain title you can then um, customize it by you know selecting it you can give it a, a different uh, a back color maybe i want it to be orange i kind of like orange. no orange is a little too big maybe something dark on right there and then you can um put your own text it comes with its own text so you can put um your own text in there um say what are you waiting for are you looking for are you looking for um you know accounting services whatever and change the text and so on and so forth so that's how you change um, you use the title say you want to have a entry title so now if you play it it will go something like this okay so that's how to use this um, title effect and you can use it multiple times you can copy it and put it anywhere that you want you can use to, to as backgrounds in this case all to use as a background all you have to do is just simply remove the text change the color to white or whatever background color you want and remove it and make the text the same color that way it's invisible and that pretty much covers it. so the other um, effects here 
they are pretty useful um you just pretty much drag um the effect on top of the on top of the text or the video to see what it does like for example I just drag the color right I drag it on top here as you can see it changes the color and then you can then um, adjust the the, co um, the color to whatever you want as you can see here this is just different effects so every effect has its own properties you drag an effect and you see what the properties are um, even the text you can have um, effects can affect other effects for example here we have the um, um, the simple text that we that we already have here um, looking for professional accounting you can have other texts on top of that say for example you can uh, when you select um, the looking for you can drag the colorized text into its effects area here see here there we go and that's how you change the color and then you can select that effect and then adjust the color to whatever you want it to um, to be as you can see I'm adjusting the color what that does is this particular colorize it colorized from this to this so if you play it it goes from it goes from red to black see it changes so all the other colors are the same all the other effects sorry are the same way you can add an effect to a text or to an image or to whatever you want to um, add to for example this logo I can add uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, let's see uh, a rain type effect to it uh, I can go actually you click the actually you click the effects first and then and then you drag the effect that you want to add to it let me look for a different effect here let's try um, the blow effect no sharpen effect sharpen it's kind of sharpens it out let's drag it there as you can see it sharpens it's changed a little sharpens up the the edges of the image so basically everything there every um, effect video clips and um, text or whatever can actually have their own effects so you can actually drag an effects to further change the properties of a particular um, effect that you have so that's how um, you have all this extra um, effect stuff uh, on here and um, that pretty much covers it by the way uh, as a note if you are under your download area you can always come back and edit something that you were editing before by clicking by clicking the edit button but you can see the edit button is gone sometimes because of the way flash and your browser works your edit edit button might be gone so to to get it back you just probably want to make sure you save your your, your work just go ahead and hit refresh that way it refreshes the your um your browser yeah so now after you refresh you see it um, your button comes back it's just one of those things that happens sometimes anytime you see some things going um, not working the way they should just hit the refresh button um, that's pretty much how to to create templates from scratch so you could using all the skills i just showed you you could actually create a um, take any of the templates and customize it to any particular um, industry as, that you want to like for example i just customize this particular template um, in this um, satisfied customer template for an accounting firm you know like looking for professional accounting service blah 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 so all I would need to do now is just to hit publish it takes a while for it to publish because this is rendering um, high quality video and um, it takes a lot of work for the system to put it all together put the text element effects all together so it takes a while it will usually say something um, like when you hit publish I'm gonna do um, when you hit publish it's gonna take a while it's gonna usually say that it's um, processing and to tell you it, it will take a while just let it go let it um, process um, you can actually go ahead and start editing other stuff or doing other templates while the that one is editing it can depend on the number of queue or number of people using the system at the same time it may take a while but it will usually um, always finish so don't worry about it if it takes um, a very long time just um, let it do its thing and um, just go ahead and do something else and also I recommend that you don't hit publish unless you really really want that video because you can always preview it and play it you don't need to publish it to see what it looks like you can actually um, hit the preview button here 
um, preview template to preview it or you can preview it here without publishing so that way you don't waste the system resources um, publishing videos that you're not actually going to um, use or sell right away um, just a, a note now I'm going to skim through the other template categories real quick. Uh, we have, uh, we've covered the professional templates. Here's the visual template. These visual templates are just templates that are um, based off of visual effects. I'm going to pl uh, pull up one here. Let's try the concrete. Pull it up. Let's go ahead and play one and play it real quick. The t these templates are very generic. They can be used for pretty much any business. They're like text effects that um, are layered over um, background animation. So you can use it for personal um, um, game from birthdays to um, business um, commercials, whatever you want to. You can change the music. All the all the techniques that you've learned in the last um, session are still applicable here they're just basically text that you just um, change and that's it the background as you can see is just one long big image background uh, sorry not image big um, video background and we'll put um, a title um, here as a background and change an image actually as a background here an image and put some text over it that's really all there is to it so if you want to change this um, for say maybe um, in this case say maybe uh, a cleaning service for example I could just say check that need professional cleaning services professional cleaning service and so on and so forth just go through changing the text as you already know how to do you can actually change the color of the background because this background is basically an image so you can select it and um, you see it has a colorized effects on there um, assigned to this particular image you can just um, click on that to change the color. You can just switch it to whatever you like. See, that's how easy it is to change the color if you want it to be a different color. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can change the music um, by, you know, dragging out this music and um, going to the uh, my audio to pull in your own music or use pull one from the music library and just um, don't forget to to um, trim it and fade it out. I'm going to undo that <clears throat> and that's pretty much um, what there's this what you a few of the things you can do with this particular um, template you can add images and um, um, customize it to to suit for any business that you want all of them are pretty much the same um, similar they follow a similar pa pattern um, just with different just um, uh, uh, animated background with text layered layered over them so you can actually start using the right away this is another one I just opened here they are pretty much all the same thing they have music in the background and then you can just put whatever text you want it could be this allows you um, to do almost anything because so, you're not have, you're not limited by the, the actors or what the actors are doing so you can be pretty much from anything from marketing to sales to personal to happy birthday, happy birthday to anything uh, the music pretty much sets the tone so you can choose a music to set the tone for whatever you're trying to um, to achieve um, here we have let me skip here to the business templates the business templates are templates that we've created that meet a specific um, business niche or business industry here we have I'm going to um, pull up two here we have, we have one here for example the um, home health care here You can play it, you can see it's basically um, an actor talking, um, you know, it's reading a sales copy uh, about the particular business layered over with, um, layered over with um, text that um, um, accentuates or um, kind of emphasize whatever it is she's saying and also has a business um, name. So you can actually change the business name as you, uh, the business name to whatever um, business um, it is that you're trying to create this for for example you can um, do uh, ABC a ABC ABC um, home health care because this is a home health ABC home health care home health incorporated 
for their phone number and so on and so forth the text here are just things that um, correlate with what she's saying so as you can go through you can change the business name and um, change the text to something that suits um, whatever business um, home LK that you're creating this for a little bit better um, the text that she that she's saying or the actors are saying are very generic they're not very specific they're just general um, terms and you can always change the music if you don't like the music as I explained earlier you can simply select the music track um, the track and do something like um, uh, mute but if you mute it if you mute this particular one um, you probably will end up muting her voice too you don't want to do that but so you can't really mute out this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one here, another business template. Let's take a look at one of these ones by, uh, um, look at this uh, accounting one. Let's click on the accounting one and take a look at, see how it is. Let's go ahead and, um, and play it. As you can see, it's still almost the same. This one is layered a little differently, that which allows this, because this one allows you to if you need professional accounting services, you have come to the right place. It's on your business. This Great allows accounting you to edit the text uh, also. And also, you can actually change the, the background music in this one, since the background music is on a different track. So I can go ahead and select that, and I can mute that. Or actually, I can just you know drag it out. As you can see, and then if I play it, it doesn't have a vital any background part of music. your personal or He's business success. Our professional. So, which means I can actually use my own, image, my own image, my own audio um, from the library, or I can upload my own and, and drag it here and use that as the as the as the background music. Say, for example, I can just go to the audio library. Maybe I wanted another track. I can just drag that in here, and um, as I explained earlier, select it, trim it by reducing it. Just drag it to the left. When you when you get close enough, you can use this to get an exact an exact um, uh, um, location here, right there, and just drag it to the beginning so it begins when the when the when the template begins, and drag it. Select when it changes to that uh, little um, T sign. That's when you know you can drag, and then um, don't forget you can click create a new marker, drag it down here so that way it fades out and if you listen to it you will see that it fades out in music the music might be a little a little loud because i haven't reduced the volume but let's go ahead and see I'm trying to, see it fades out it's a little loud but what you could do is you could actually reduce the vol overall volume by dragging this down and dragging this down this reduces the vo volume level this line represents the volume level so now the the background music level is a little lower now so it doesn't <coughs> it if you doesn't. need professional accounting services you have come to the right place As you can we see, partner with you so you don't have to worry about a little bit in the background you can actually increase it a little bit more if you feel it's too low and so on and so forth and switch it up so that's how easy it is to to change and um, to change and work with um, this business templates of course this you can always this background in this case you can always change the color the back color if you want to if you don't like white you can choose a different color but when you change a different uh, different color you also have to make sure that you ch change the same color to be um, it should be green you have to make the they're both the same so that way the, that background text doesn't show up there right there so that's how to do to all that you can add images and um, logos and so on and so forth and uh, by the way down here this allows you to see more to zoom into the timeline this little thing here so as you drag towards the right here you're zooming into the timeline as you can see the, the seconds are going going in a little closer you have 25 seconds 27 seconds. so you can actually do more very specific editing you know like dragging and stuff to to match very specific areas this allows you to zoom in a little bit more you can click this button to um to zoom into the highest level zoom to as as deep as you can go and this one on the left here to come back to normal to the normal to see to fit everything within the timeline within your screen 
and um, that's how it works by the way if you're not seeing all this on your screen that means one you may not have the updated version of flash you want to update your flash to make sure you see everything that I'm seeing here on my screen um, and also if for some some elements are not showing maybe you're showing half of this um, of this um, um, browser area you're showing half of it or you're showing or you're not showing this section here that means um, your screen may not be your, your, your computer screen resolution is not set properly you need to set your um, computer resolution a little higher so you can see more here if you don't know how to do that just ask somebody who's um, very familiar with computers um, to to adjust your computer resolution um, in your settings your computer settings so you can see more uh, see everything that I see here in your screen okay let's go to the creative template creative templates are gonna be templates that um, we create um, that are just very um, generic they're very general they're not specific to any particular uh, industry or business um, but you can then just use your creativity to change the text to to align it to any particular business or industry that you that you want to target so they're just um, very fun and very um, um, genuine and unique type videos that we've um, templates that we created and just go through them see anyone you like and edit them the principle of editing them is the same is the same thing they all have text edit music and you can just kind of like um, change what you need to apply to whatever business that you that you need to apply to so that's what the creative templates are they'll be quite different each one will be different as you as you view it but uh, they all still follow the same um, editing rules as I've explained to you here from background to music to um, to text and so on and so forth that's pretty much um, how what the creative template stands for then we have the final we have the text-based template here <clears throat> text-based templates are pretty very similar to the visual effects templates they are basically templates that ha just have um, text and then a background and music in the background like this so that way you can actually use them for whatever you like to um, they're very very versatile they are very quick way to get uh, a promo video out there uh, any kind of message out there just um, jump in grab one that suits your color and um, edit the text and um, and you're good to go if you need to add more text or to ex extend it for example if this is not enough for you want to add um, more text you can just go ahead and um, um, and copy one one of the text copy it paste it here yeah, make a clone of it I can actually um, extend the whole just go here X let's drag that in here as uh, you can't drag it if it's longer you have to make it a little shorter I'll just I'll drag this a little bit further out and then add that and then you can keep adding and adding more as you and it just keeps getting longer try to keep everything under one minute if it's longer than one minute it should take a long time to edit to 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 render and publish and um it will just be a very very um slow process and most people don't like to watch videos that are longer than um you know one minute online they'll pretty much lose interest real quick so you need to get your message there out quickly uh, don't mind that this particular video that you're watching is probably <laughs> the longest <laughs> video you've ever watched but um anyways uh, so you can actually extend add more text to it just by simply ex extending that you can just drag the background the background is just an image so you can just drag it and increase it some more to um to make it longer and um you can actually change the color just click on it and click the colorize we use the colorize effects to change the colors just click on the the background click color and change the color to whatever you do you want and um it will have that new color as you can see just change that to to um kind of greenish so that's how easy it is to do you can change the music to suit whatever tempo or message you're trying to get across so the text based ones are a very fast quick way to get what you need across very quickly without um, much hassle and wasting time so it's an awesome way to market um, whatever business using video now that I've covered all the different things anyways you can um, work with uh, different templates I'm just gonna 
touch on real quick on how to create your own from scratch you know sometimes the templates we have may not meet your need or you want to create your own templates to sell specifically um, it's very very simple you just follow the same the same style that we've used in um, creating our templates you just um, simply go ahead and like um, start a new template in this case I'm gonna try and do <coughs> a new template here let me go ahead and um, um, start here you start by just making sure you start afresh and click on new on the new slate to, to create a template by the way you could easily create a template from using any of our existing templates that I've shown you just by editing it so you can grab one uh, one of our templates and edit it for a particular business or niche say for any business you want change the text add a little image here or there and and save it and now you have a full-blown template like a, a customized template for a specific business but if none of our templates for some reason don't seem to match you can create your own from, from scratch by clicking new and you can um you would have upload you can upload your own um, um in your own videos here you can upload your own um base templates when you upload it for example assuming um you've um, you recorded you know yourself or you had someone record um one for you i'm gonna use this um uh remodeling uh, remote, um, let's use this let me use one here uh, let's say um, uh, attorneys right here I'm gonna use attorneys as an example uh, assuming you've recorded an attorney or uh, a specific type of attorney maybe bankruptcy legal because the one we have here is a little general you might you want a specific one for a specific um, niche market you can record one upload it um, and then get, and then put it in here make sure it's it's a base recording which means let me play here it's just uh, the guy talking whoever the actor talking. looking for answers for your legal issue when and if you need legal advice you need to know that you're getting it from the basically you want the template you have to make the it's as simple as possible and make sure that it's you know it's as high quality and also you want to make sure it's um, you upload it as an mp4 file encoded to h264 that was a small file if the file is really if it's above um, more than um, 30 seconds or a minute or higher than 10 megabytes then you probably have something um, so if something is wrong with your setup uh, or again make sure it's mp4 file that you upload and make sure that is uh, encoded using H.264 um, codec. Your video guy will probably know what this is if you don't know. Just ask him. Make sure you tell him to to send it to you in a small file um, that is MP4. Anyway, you upload it. Now you have your base. So you all you need to do is just go to your um, to the audio library. Look, for, you know, go to, skip through the audio audio tracks. Look for one that you lo like. Um, if you find one, bring it in. Drag it into the timeline. As you can see here. Um, Audios are usually very long, um, so you just trim it a little bit, drag it, drag it. See here, now that now we have it. Uh, of course, I want to make it a little lower. I want to make the volume a little lower because I don't want it to interfere with what the guy is saying. And then click here to fade it out. Click it to create a new marker and drag that one down to fade it out. So now, if you play it, we will see that we pretty much have a very close, um, close in. Looking for answers for your legal issue? When and if you need legal advice, you need to know that you're getting it from the best. Choosing a legal team that has the experience... Yeah, probably not the best music, but you get the idea. Um, anyway, um, so now that I've added that, I might need to add some text, you know, because I want to show the business name so, so the, the end user can actually um, edit the business. So I just want to grab some text. I just go to effects and grab a text drag it on here and it will, it will place it on here I'll always um, the screen always shows wherever the marker is the the, the scrubber marker is it's just just FYI and so now I want to uh, you know, make this text a little more friendly I can move it to the top here I want it to be a little to the left top right make it a little smaller it's a little too big and um, drag it down a little bit and then remove the back alpha so that way the box around it doesn't show up and I can change the color a little bit make it um, green 
Or maybe, uh, maybe not green. Actually, that's the back color. We don't need that. We can make it um, orange. And I can just type here business name. Business name here. So this tells uh, whoever is using this template to, to replace this text with their business name. And as you type that out, remember you also want to copy that, make sure the label is the same. Paste it there. That way, it, the label shows what's, uh, what shows up here on the timeline. So that when the person is viewing it, when you have multiple texts, it's easier to identify which one they're editing, just so it's a very unique way. So as you go through this, as you go through the, the text, you can place multiple texts at different locations. If you've edited this particular text extensively, you don't want to keep redoing the same process over and over again. You can just select it, copy it, paste it. It will put it, it will make another copy of it. So you can just drag, look for the location that you want to put it on. And I think I want to put it over here and change it to, um, be uh, the best whatever you like and the best and maybe make another one uh, paste again another copy if it pastes on top you can always drag it down put it into the into the same line if I want it to be on the same line right here and then I can drag and put another one here I can drag put this one towards the end maybe this will be the contact us I can drag that here and say contact us at 1-800, hold on, 1-800, like that. And remember, as you can see, the one is a little bit off. I might use my scale feature here to adjust it drag a little bit to the left until I get what I want um, I can just kind of adjust it a little bit until you get exactly what you want right there let me add another zero there and drag it a little bit it's just a matter of getting the the look that you want so the scale right about the middle and I can use the position position generally decides where the element is going to be the scale decides how it's going to look on, on that on that spot so now i've done that i don't don't forget to um to copy that and replace the the label and go back to that. i forgot this one let me do this one copy So that way the person knows exactly what text so as they're seeing on the screen the text also you know it makes sense because they can see that this is oh this is where the text is they can they can just jump to it and edit it so right now we've just created a template so all you really need to create a template is just a base video uh, your base video can be anything in this case we use a guy talking about a specific generic business uh, the, your base video could be uh, could easily have been um, a background like an animated um, background um, like you saw in the visual templates and um, but meanwhile let's go ahead and save this template let's click anywhere outside in the dark area here click anywhere outside and give it a name I can call this um, assuming this was a, um, a template for um, for truck drivers I'm gonna call it truck driver. Truck drivers. And then save. Here we go. Now I've, I've just created a template. Now this template is ready for uh, me to edit next time. Uh, you can go in the downloads. You'll see your templates there. If you can, you can search for it. If you have a lot, just type truck. Right there. You can click edit to open it up and I can keep editing it and now I have a template so and I can always delete that template I can preview it and preview it here also and here comes the clone thing the, now you can also actually use a clone feature the clone, to use a clone feature you just need to make a small change to the template say say now I've created a template I want to um, for 
business um maybe i'm market i'm a marketer and i, I want to market this particular template to a specific um business or maybe this is a generic template um that wasn't talking about a specific business maybe it was just one of those um special effects templates i could just go ahead and uh and type in um uh, change something here maybe i want to do say um business name here um um john's john's um john trucking maybe john trucking john trucking inc all right now i have john trucking so i want to save this as john trucking And instead of just hitting save, if I hit save it to overwrite my original template, we don't want that. I hit clone. Clone makes a copy of it. So now I've just made a copy of this particular template. So if I click on download to refresh here, and you should, you can look for it. You will see, you would have, you see now I have John Trucking. I also have Truck Drivers. If I open the Truck Drivers, notice that. It has a normal that's my still my regular template if i open up the john trucking it has john trucking so you can use this to do you know um joe's trucking the abc trucking and so just unlimited like that it's so much it's just opens up a whole new way that's how the clone feature works you can clone um, multiple templates and make m many variations of a different of a specific template so how you can use that to the fullest is say for example you create a, a visual a visual template for example you use something like um like a visual background something like this one for example you create the background um with this and the text so you could actually just go ahead and um uh, and, you, and you call this maybe uh, a truck driver's um template you can change the text a little bit um for like um um restaurants and hit clone clone that saved as a restaurant template and then change the text around a little bit a little bit more and call it uh uh maybe a cleaning template uh or whatever you want you know for different you did the the possibilities are endless you just keep changing the text a little bit to suit a particular business niche or a particular purpose clone it and then you have a new template so that's how to to make a um, template so the more generic your original base template is the more um the more versatile it is uh, you can also always use the ones that we've um, provided which are pretty awesome like our professional templates uh, templates are visual templates uh and uh creative templates and text templates pretty much all those categories can be used for pretty much any um as a base to create um niche templates to target any market all right now that we've finished covering on covering how to um create these templates from scratch and uh, and all how do we monetize it to monetize these templates uh very very simple you can monetize it in a lot of ways uh, obviously you can use it to promote your own business after you create a template you can click uh, click publish to publish that particular template and start using it in this case i'm gonna open up one of my existing templates i'm gonna open up feeling frustrated here and um I can just simply just go ahead and um you know make some changes to it as, as i've taught you and then i can just go ahead and hit um once i'm done i can save it and then i can just go ahead and hit publish once you hit publish it publishes this um particular um template or the template you use it to first queue it just let it go let it queue me pretty much means it's you know it's setting it up and then it starts the process it, it may take a while it takes you know it could take up to you know um hours for it to to run it depending on the volume um of um work that's currently on the system at any point in time so just be patient you can actually once it starts processing you can actually go ahead and you know open up another template or just kind of keep doing whatever you need to do um without worrying about it it will get done when it gets done okay so um making money with that so now assuming this template has finished i already i've already um you know rendered it earlier so this is it you can go here to download your video on the downloads you can click on this down arrow 
to download the video when you click download it opens up the download box by default it will set it to it will give you uh, to give you a bunch of um, ID numbers but you want to change that to whatever you um, you want to name your video make sure that you do not re rename the dot mp4 file that's the extension so in this case I want to call this um, maybe um, accounting feeling frustrated feeling and I'm just feeling your I'm not feeling your accountants let me just call it not filling your accountant but anyway remember note that you don't you definitely don't want to re, re, remove the .mp4 file that way this allows it to, to be able to play on your computer if by if you do it by mistake and remove it and save it without the .mp4 file you can always just rename the file in your computer and add the .mp4 file so I'm just gonna go ahead and save this real quick and uh, we're gonna play it I'm gonna go ahead and save it once you hit save, it starts to download in the background. After, it only takes a couple, a minute or so. And after it downloads, you can go to the location and check it. In this case, I downloaded it to my um, videos folder, so I can just go there. It's still downloading. It should be downloading here in a second. Let me refresh. All right, now that my download is complete, I can just um, go ahead and click um, to view my video. And um, right here. Your plates. By the way, you can add, um, you know, like watermarks and stuff to your videos if you want to, um, you know, send them out to, um, to the public where you don't want people to take them. To add a watermark is just as simple as adding a, an image, a logo, like I showed you earlier. So that's how to um, to get your video. So now this video is an MP4 file, as you can see. So you can actually upload it to YouTube, um, Facebook, whatever. Just um, and it's MP4, so it's mobile friendly. So it's, you can it will also play fine on a mobile device or phones or anything. So it's pretty very 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 um, versatile. Um, getting back to uh, so that's how you get the video. So you can actually sell that video, um, the video um, um, that you just downloaded, or you can um, use it for your own. Um, you have commercial license for it, obviously, so you can um, resell it um, as many times as you want and keep uh, all the profits. Um, then, after, <clears throat> so that's one way you could actually monetize it by selling it that way. You can actually monetize the system by selling access to the template. So instead of just selling the video itself, because uh, if you sell the video, every time you have to, uh, every time you sold one, you pretty much have to edit it or customize it um, with that particular client's information um, by going um, into the template and um, and changing the the client's um, information with um, with your own inf with sorry by changing the default information with the client's information. Even though that has been the traditional way of um, doing video production where you um, edit the customized video for the client or edit uh, do a custom video for the client or, or the user and send it to them uh, send them a finished video production uh, video file um, this the, this our uh, news a uh, new um, platform opens up a whole new way of monetizing a marketing video by allowing you to actually extend that um, customizing part of the video production process to the client or to the end user so in this case after you create a template instead of just um, publishing it and um, downloading it and sending it to the client or selling it to the client or just putting it online um, ranking it or whatever um, or using it to promote your business you can actually just sell them access to the template to edit it for themselves so for example if I'm going to use um, one of uh, the business templates as an example let's take the the um, the see let's take the dentist the dentist oh no actually actually let me take a different one that's a little bit more in line let's take the the web design web design um, templates for example so normally if you want to market this um, this particular uh, video 
services to a web design guy or company you usually just go ahead and um you know create this template and you know edit the information to suit their name and stuff and go through all the stuff and if you had 10 or 20 or 100 possible ones you have to do it a hundred times which is time consuming but this way now you can just actually create a template um for a particular business in this game in this case i'm assuming uh, a web design um niche and um after you create a template you you, you place the variables like the business name and the address uh, or the phone number or the website and then you click sell the sell button will generate the links that you need to sell these templates and when you when you um when you click on the sell button it will pop up a page that will allow you to see all the information you need to um, start selling the, the template access to it right away in this case um, you should probably want to read any information that's on that page kind of give you an idea of how it works but basically how it works is you create your templates um, you sell the access to the link access to the template to clients and then the clients um, click on the link they come to the editor and they edit the template for free they don't have to pay to edit and then you make money we split the the, the sale that sale with you and it works in many ways because um, you'll make money in two ways you make money by one when the client or the the user buys the templates two and secondly you make uh, money if they decide to upgrade to uh, to a, a member in the video platform so that way they can start editing other templates too so you also get paid a, a commission a recurring commission for that so you can make money in two ways by one the clients um, buying the template initially and two when they sign up you also make money when they as they pay monthly or, or annually um, so to get started you the system generates the links that you need the links that you need are uh, just very basic you need a preview link this is a preview link is pretty much a link that you want to send to the clients um, if they want to see the template say you send out a mailing list or, uh, or you have a website or shopping cart or whatever this is the link that you would um, that you would have a link to that would actually pull up just this particular template of your, just your particular template and by the way before you before you um, click the sell button to up um, to open up this um, the the cell window you have to make sure that you have saved your template it has to be saved you have to be logged in and the template has to be um, saved if not you're not going to get uh, the right um, links so make sure that your template is saved in your own account that you're logged in your account and your template is saved all right so i'm going to click the cell button again and so for example the preview link you can copy this link to test it out yourself you can copy it let's go ahead and open up a new a new um, browser window here you can click paste it in there and you can notice that it will open up that specific template every template has a unique id number and that's how it, that's what it uses to open up um, a particular template if for whatever reason sometimes in explorer doesn't open up the flash the first time always hit refresh it will usually um, work when you refresh it As you can see, it pulls up that particular template when um, the user goes in to, to view it. But notice that when the template pulls up in the preview link, it doesn't have the publish button and the upload button. So the user can actually preview the template, um, play it, actually even do, go as far as doing everything like changing the text to make sure that the text is what um, what they want um, and that the template can do whatever it is that they need it to do they can play around with it they can actually even save it um, create a free trial account and save it um, on the DS um, do a lot of stuff pretty much they can do everything that a regular member um, can do with the template but except from actual except for actually the final process which is actually to be able to download the video or be able to upload their own stuff so that's a, a nice feature so this is a, this way it creates the first in world ever way uh, system where users or buyers can actually try out a template or a video to edit it and customize it to make sure that it's what they want or it can meet their needs before they buy and so that way there's no question of refunds or um, not being sure what it is that we're buying uh, it kind of takes away a lot of the, a lot of the headaches and after the user 
um, saves the templates maybe they make changes and they save whatever they save shows up in their in their own download if they've signed up for a free trial of free trial of course um, if they've um, saved anything they it will still be there after they sign up for a real a real uh, full a full a full membership or after they purchase the template now going back to purchasing the template in the sell button um, window where you have all the links we've just reviewed the preview link which um, gives the, uh, the user access to preview the template and use it and access it play around with it try it out um, so this is if you had a shopping cart for example or you want to use your own shopping cart um, you could actually or just a link maybe a, a, a link to um, a mailing list to, for people to actually preview the template you can actually use um, that link right there and then the the template purchase link is the link that they actually go to buy the link just <clears throat> so if you send this link out this is where they click to order if I go in and copy that let's see what the user sees when they click on that link or if you send it to them what they will actually get is <clears throat> to take them straight to the shopping cart so they can actually then enter um, their payment information so when you click here let's go ahead and paste that in and see what happens it takes them straight to the shopping cart uh, as you can see let me go ahead and remove I think I had a bunch of stuff in my shopping cart earlier there we go so this is what the user will see and then the obviously they will have they'll sign up as a new customer put in the information and so on and once they pay then they make their payment then they can they automatically become members because what whatever information they sign up with is the same information that they used to sign in into the video um, editing platform also so once they've signed once they've paid they can then you can then send them the access link this is then the template access link with this link they can then be able to edit the the video um, proper let's go ahead and check that out you can um, try the access link this will be what you would give the um, the customers who have paid and notice that this link has the publish button and the upload button so now they can actually edit the template just just like any other user they're now actually um, members they note by the way the users usually have um, a certain amount of time usually about um, um, a few days for them to edit the template the actual days that they have um, is actually um, delivered to them in the welcome email when they when they make the order it tells them how, exactly how, how long they have to edit and download that um, template without um, paying anything extra they don't have to be a member per se they don't have to sign up for a membership they usually have a few days to edit and download their templates for um, at no additional extra charge if they want to keep um, a membership that will give them access to all the other templates that the system offers they can always um, up to upgrade and sign up for a full account and obviously you would also get paid um, for that so that's another way to make money anyway so basically when the client does signs up or makes a purchase they actually um, put in using using username and password or actually email and password the same email and password serves as their account information and if they upgrade is the same account information so they don't have to sign up twice it's all um, um, done in one seamless transaction so as a recap on the selling um, process let's go ahead and recap what we have um, here um, the template preview is for the templates um, for the users to preview your templates make sure that you save the template you're logged in and you save it. the template you must actually be able to see the templates like in your download area you might actually be able to see it like to, that is saved before you can actually sell it if not the link will not work so after you've um, you sent out your template preview if you want them to preview it this is your template purchase link for people to buy the temp access to the template and this is the actual access that, to the template that they are buying so you can send um, pretty much send out all three links in your email blast you can send out hey um, I've got this wonderful template that does XYZ for your business blah 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 click here to view it uh, click here to buy it uh, and click here to access it if they try to access it without buying it, it will not let them it they will have to it will ask them to log in so and they can't log in because they have not 
bought it so you can actually safely give them all three links at one time so they preview it they buy it they access it all at the same time if you have a website you can pretty much do the same thing you can actually put a, a copy of that template on there um, and say hey this is a link to preview when they click on that link it pops up the, the full editor so they can preview it and play with it and you can put another link where they can buy it and you can um, put another link where they can actually um, have access to it right from within your website and the final link here that uh, you must know notes um, is the coupon um, coupon note this is a way that the system is to track um, to track that to know that you sent that this is your template and you sent the, to this person to know to pay you and not someone else and also it also allows you to set your own prices for your own templates by the way you must also always own the rights the copyrights um, that you have for any template that you actually produce or want to sell you must have the copyright or have the necessary rights um, to use it <clears throat> To use um, to set your own prices for the coup um, for your template, you have to set a price before you can sell a template. You just use this coupon code. You copy this coupon code here, and you say copy. Let's copy that, and then you go to your um, to your partner area. In this case, your affiliate area. And by the way, you probably should watch the affiliate videos when you go into your affiliate areas. Um, there's um, the marketing promotional tools video here. Um, you probably want to watch that it has a lot of extra tools and stuff, video tutorial that you need to know if you're really going to take this video to the next level um, but anyway when you're in the, when you're in the my account area you can click on affiliates and scroll down to where you have add your coupons you can just cut, paste that uh, coupon that was provided to you paste that in there and then set your price based on a percentage say for example the standard price right now um the standard price on the on the for sign up um for sign up for a uh, actual a uh, single video which is here you can always find out the, the going rate the rate may change but whatever going rate it is will be uh here it's actually um this single video for two two for the seven so you can base your price off of that $247 uh, in this case uh, whatever price it is you can always check it here so if I go back to my affiliates here and I paste my code my coupon code that I got from my um, my sell page I can say say I want to sell my template for about a hundred and maybe a hundred and um, $25 that would be about 50% off of um, two, two fifty. I believe yeah so I could just go and say 50 I can go 50 50% 50 off and click add so that's all you need to do so now the system knows to sell your template for 50% um, um, off the $247 which is a standard rate if you don't put um, if you want to sell it for the standard rate for, of, for two for 247 you can still do the same thing you could just still make sure you put your code because that code helps the system identify you so you have to always create a coupon code for each and every template each template has its own unique um, promotional code so to say and then um, if you want to sell it for the regular for the whatever going rate it is without having to worry about um, risk um, the prices changing or anything like that you can just set it to zero zero and then add that way no matter whatever the price is on uh, on the the standard prices that's what your template is going to be but if you want to set a different price like we just did here you can use the coupon percentage base to set whatever price you want so now if the person um if if for example i let's go back here to our cell page and grab go back to our cell page the template purchase link let's go ahead and try that link again you should see that it will automatically now detect let's go ahead and try it again it will automatically detect let's go ahead and remove let's remove one it will automatically detect the 50% discount so we've got a 50% discount 
um, right there, fifty percent off um, whatever the total, total price um, was. By the way, you can see the price here; it's showing um, about four dollars. That's because it's um, um, pro prorated. It's prorating it to um, to um, the months. That's um, that shouldn't be probably because I already had stuff in my card already. Let me go ahead and try that again. Paste, and remove what my card, and here we go. As you can see, um, it actually has um, automatically applied the 50% to do to have to the price about $123, which is uh, actually the, the price. So you just gonna do the math to make sure that you to get the price that you actually want based on the percentage that you want um, to take off the standard price so that's how to set your price so now the user only has to pay um, this they don't need to enter the promotional code because it's automatically entered for them automatically um, when they use that purchase um, link so usually it's all pretty much seamless the user doesn't have to know anything about promotional codes or anything like that it's all done in the background and um, so that's how it, how it works um, last recap they can view the template here. They can um, um, they can purchase the template with this link, and they can access the template with this link. And this um, code is for you to copy and go to your partner area and paste it in, so that you can be able to set your own to set your prices for um, for the template and be able to get um, paid for it. What will happen is after you, when you, after someone buys your template, you see you see show up here. You, you see the date, the date of purchase, the, the, uh, the what they purchase to say one single video, and you see the commission amount here. And as they buy, it, you you can always list them here. It will always list you automatically, and you see all of it. And you can always withdraw your money by you see total amount um, available. Um, balance you will see the amounts show up here and there will be a button here that you can click and that would say redraw redraw amount and once you click that we'll go ahead and re, um, send you the money via PayPal to whatever email address that you have um, that you have on uh, on file um, or if you have, want to you want to use a specific a different um, PayPal email address you can open up a ticket and let us know prior to making requesting your withdrawal so that's how how it pretty much works make sure you add your coupon code that you get from the sell page in here for every single um, template that you want to um, to sell this way um, you users can you can set your own prices for your own templates the, the the standard price is always the the the, the max so you can sell anything less than that um, that's how it pretty much works for now. If you have any questions, um, don't forget to go to under support and um, open up a support ticket here. You can um, also um, order a sp uh, uh, you can also order a, a sp special template, a request a special template. You can go under here under resources. We have request templates you can click to order if you want us to do the template for you say you had a particular niche or particular business and you don't have the time to do a template maybe for a very unique business or you want to do a campaign and you need a special template you can click to order this here and and go through the order process um, but just contact us first um, by opening up a support ticket telling us a little bit about the a little bit about the template that you want and if we give you the go ahead then you can come here request template to click to order it once you order the template the template will be um, non-exclusive and you it will be available in um, you know in the template area whichever will tell you which template area it is available and you can then go ahead and edit it it's a very nice way to get something quickly if you have a specific target market that you already identified uh, or a specific purpose a project that you need a template for uh, a templates are always typically generic and that way you can use them for multiple um, um, purposes so this pretty much concludes um, the the, the the, the course for this um, system on how to use um, the tool and how to extend it um, to um, 
to do a lot of things there's some some other things that you can a lot of other things you can do here for more advanced users those of you who are familiar with um, video editing um, in the past you probably are familiar with a lot of the stuff I just covered uh, you can use um, that knowledge to extend the system uh, exponentially really and um, if you have any questions um, feel free to call us we're always open to um, partnerships or if you if you can think of any way that this system can be used to um, market to a specific um, business niche or business um, industry on or, or maybe um, tweaked or maybe repurposed um, for that particular business um, industry we're always open to hear that and um, or maybe you want to license the, the software or the 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 actual license the whole platform um, and and I want us to develop one for you for your own particular um, niche for if you're an agency or so so on and so forth just let us know and we can um, also do that for you um, that's and concludes the tutorial and thank you for being patient um, thank you